Starting today, Florida will ban treatment for gender dysphoria for children. Yeah, it's the medical term for a person who experiences discomfort or distress between their biological sex and gender identity. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar is joining us now live. And Aaron, a Board of Medicine rule that was first proposed actually last year officially goes into effect today. And it bans uh, sex reassignment surgeries and treatments like puberty blockers as well as hormone therapy for children under 18 years old. However, those who are already taking that kind of treatment before today are still eligible to continue. This all comes as a bill related to transgender treatment and care passed through committee on Monday. A bill in the works since last September is one step closer to approval. It would take a Board of Medicine rule one step further. In the new bill, doctors providing care to kids younger than 18 can be charged with a third degree felony and possibly lose their licenses. It also prohibits state funds from being used to cover the care for adults. During a final meeting on Monday, Senator Clay Yarborough, who sponsored the bill, says this will protect kids. Every person was created with extraordinary worth incredible value and a unique purpose. That was from the time that they were created. You can't, you can't change that. Procedures and all of the other efforts cannot fill the deepest needs in a human heart, and they don't give you your worth and value because, again, you possess that when you, were, when you were created, in fact, before you were even born. Senator Tracy Davis is concerned about the message she feels this is sending. I think we need to be careful of the rhetoric we create by hearing and passing bills like this. There are children out there who believe they are better off dead because of the lack of support. Several people spoke during the public comment portion of the meeting. That part of the session lasted nearly two hours. Many feel like there's a target on the transgender community. I have been living my life as a woman for over 10 years, and I have a successful life, and I teach children, and I change the world day by day in my local community in Tampa, Florida. So look at me and remember this face, Thank because you. this is the face that you're denying a future parent of four children, one of whom is transgender. This bill denies me and my family our basic humanity, our pursuit of happiness, and infringes our religious liberty. This bill comes between me, my child, her pediatrician, her psychologist, and her endocrinologist, an entire team of highly trained, professionally certified medical professionals from across the state that are helping me and my child determine what the current most, most advanced best practices are available to her. Right now, there are 18 different bills for transgender care that have been filed for consideration under the current legislative session. Reporting live, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.